Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm honored to welcome you to Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. The game crashes if I try to select a profile while I'm recording, so I'll see you on the other side of this jump cut. That's better. The name's BDF, by the way, because the character limit would only let me put Burning Dog. This game came out in 2003, and it's essentially a reboot of the original Prince of Persia series, which started all the way back in 1989. I I think this game actually predates the use of the term reboot to describe a franchise starting over, or at least the common use. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, this is the first game in the Sands of Time trilogy, and though I've never played any of those, and this is going to be a blind LP, I have played what came out afterwards, another reboot that was just called Prince of Persia. If you're interested in checking that out, I'll put an annotation link to the first episode of that playlist right here. Though I warn you, it has been a while, and it might not be up to my modern standards such as they are. Having said that, I've put this game off for 13 years now, so I'm not going to make it wait any longer. Let's play Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Alright, that works. Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction, but I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. Know first that I am the son of Sharam, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azad with a small company of men who passed through India. Where the promise of honor and glory tempted my father into a grievous error. Now, my son. I think I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we had wrought, or at least humility at the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good world into a hell. If you think so, you are mistaken. For in that moment I thought of one thing only, the honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in the first battle. Well. Alright, that works out. Uh, oh, Jesus. The fuck is I starting to say? Yes, uh, because of the age of this game, uh, I'm going to be using mouse and keyboard controls. It predates the Xbox 360, so it's probably not a surprise that it doesn't natively support the uh, Xbox 360 controller. Uh, also... The maximum resolution uh, isn't widescreen. 
So you'll probably have noticed the black bars to the left and the right. We'll just have to get used to them. I don't see them myself, it blows up the image a bit, but uh, it does show up on the uh, footage I record, so, you know, say la vie. What am I supposed to do here, is finish pushing the door open? Oh. No! Okay. Life lesson, kids, don't run into fire. Yes, this is definitely not the same character as in the Prince of Persia I played. Like, oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, no, you just run into stuff. Okay. Ugh. Embarrassing. Alright, alright. There, that's much better. Much less embarrassing. Control, holding special action, right click. Alright, fair enough. Ooh. So, India. They don't seem happy to see us. It's probably because we broke in and started killing everyone. Oh, hey. Uh, let's see. I just want to see what happens if I hit Q over... I can't even see myself. What about if I'm down here? Alright, that's cool. You could theoretically play the whole game like that. I don't know that you would want to. Oh, there was a button I found when I was doing the frame rate check. It was X, I think, yeah. X uh, centers the camera behind you. Oh, that's right in front of me. There we go! Thanks, guys! Really appreciate that. Whoa, what the fu- Can we just pretend that didn't happen? Alright, why is this happening is the important question. There we go! That must be it. The camera angle changed just in time for me to leap onto the, uh... Right. Okay. No. No. Ah. I am trying very care. Uh, I will try my best to pay attention to everything that pops up on the screen. There is, uh. Is I do find it infuriating when I'm watching a Let's Play or just, you know, people playing a game, and, uh. Something pops up on the screen and they either ignore it or don't see it because they're talking or something. You know, t talking amongst themselves. And then they. Uh get frustrated and they don't know what to do and act like it's the game's fault. I'm probably guilty of this myself in the past, but I'm gonna make a point of trying to avoid that situation. There's landscape for here. I do like the swooshy noises. Ooh, a dude. It's kind of energetic particles. That bench was made out of beef jerky. Uh, hey! Apparently we don't come in peace. Oh, jeez. Uh, block. Oh, good, you can move while blocking. Suh! And... You can't dodge while you're blocking. Good! Not doing so well. Oh, there we go! Hey, fuck that guy. Can I put my sword away? Yes! Thank you. Can you read my mind? No. Awesome. I do kind of like that. I mean, it's not very useful, but... Oh, but it does show me that there are mans on top of that ladder. I wonder if I can just run up the wall next to the ladder. 
<laughs> I like that. Classy. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, already this is different from Prince of Persia. They made a big uh, deal in the marketing for that game about the fact that, like the original games, you only ever fight fought one dude at a time. In that. Ha! <laughs> I really like that. I hit the button, and it did this... The dramatic camera angle for uh, Reef sheathing his sword. I guess it, I guess you have to have killed some dudes for that to happen. Oh, that's what those are. It's a fucking catapult uh, projectile. Uh huh. The graphics aren't incredible, but again, the game is 13 years old, so I'm not going to be passing judgment that way. I mean, I have noticed that... It's hard to tell on me. Maybe if I look at these guys. Oh yeah, that should do it. Yeah, if you look at the hands... Oops. Uh, hands consist of a thumb, a forefinger, and then the other three fingers are kind of a single solid mitten. You can see it on his other hand holding the uh, spear here. Maybe if I... Hmm. I like his outfit. Many men that day sought to win honor and glory on the battlefield, that their king might say to them, as Khosrow said to Rustam, You are the noblest of my warriors. From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing, but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. The other game made a point of never giving the main character a name. I remember... I am aware that he was called the Prince, and in that case it was, an, uh, it was a nickname. He was basically a, a vagabond. But, uh... I think he was a traveling thief? Yeah, the Prince was a nickname. I don't remember if they actually said that in the game. That might have just been in the marketing materials. They might have just avoided uh, referring to him by name. That guy was... was kind of looked like a white guy. And he was voiced by uh, your friend and mine, Nolan North. Uh, this one, I looked it up is voiced by Yuri Lowenthal. He seems significantly more uh, appropriate for a Prince of Persia. Not Yuri Lowenthal, I mean, I mean his appearance appears more appropriate for a uh, Prince of Persia. Time to show them, uh, I guess that... Okay. Psych myself up. Time to show them that Persia rules and India drools. I need to work on that. Uh... Oh, just drop down. Fine. Fine. Hey, those arrows don't actually have any solid substance. But yeah, the other game made a big deal out of the fact that you only ever fight a per one on one. It was all about duels. Whoa, what? No, oh, sorry. Whoa! Hey, your buddy's dead. You might want to get that checked out. Oh. Oh, uh... 
when it does that, there's actually a little... I couldn't move there. Uh, I couldn't move until I hit C and did the dramatic uh, sword chi thing. Dude! Seriously! Do I owe you money? I should want to see if I should... I want to see if I, uh, if I can re uh, what's the word backtrack over to that healing pool. I mean, this is the tutorial level, but you know, one thing it'll tell me. If, yeah, okay, yeah, the backtracking is possible to an extent. Okay, that's awesome. It's pro you know, it's probably not a big deal, but. Can I break that? Take that, Spears. I was kind of kidding last time, but uh, now I am actually wondering if someone is trying to kill me. Run towards wall while holding special action. Oh. Okay! Wow, that's actually kind of unnerving in real time. This appears to be enemy free. Okay. I do like this guy's uh, boofy Aladdin pants. Not a lot of people can carry that off. Oh, okay. Fine, yeah, healing. Oh. So the pot's invincible. No! What? Oh. Oh! Yeah, he started with his sword away because he, he thought I wanted to run up the wall. He can do both. It depends on how you approach the wall. Let's murder this last pot and be on our way. Oh, hey, uh, hey guys! Delicious. Okay. I know they just call it hugging the wall, but he actually looks like he's touching it tenderly. You're the only one that understands me, Wall. Maybe they're just firing them everywhere, so I can't help but notice them. Uh, C. Space. C. Okay, good. He does. I don't have to like hit a button to make him catch himself. Might have to hear. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, yeah, he did catch himself. Hitting space just made him climb up. Okay, here we go. Revolt over an enemy, move towards an enemy, and press space. Oh, I did. Oh, he didn't like that at all. Oh, hey, you're dead. Wow, that's really effective. Whoa. 
I was actually trying to dodge at that time. Ow. Come on, here we go. <laughs> I might get tired of that eventually, but not today. Can I drink from this? Yes! Okay, I'm learning. Hmm. I was actually thinking I'd have to walk up to this gate, but... This is one of the advantages of video games, where your character is content to just run on a straight line at stuff. Uh... Okay, don't have to hit a catch button, it seems. That's kind of easy to figure out. No, no, other way. Roger that. Will take a bit of getting used to for me that you hit, uh... Space instead of, uh... Some other button. Well, instead of forward, for example, to pull yourself up. Shall I continue my story from here, the next time we're interrupted? Uh, yes. I hope this isn't the only way to save, it's just randomly coming up like that. Or not randomly, but it's a, if it's the only, if the only way to save is to do it at scripted times, I might have a problem with that since I'm recording on a schedule. Do I have to name it? Done. I'll start the story from here next time. I did notice that when I quit the game uh, after running around to do my uh, frame rate and audio check, he, uh, I clicked on quit and he says, Are you sure you want me to, uh, you don't want to hear the end of my story or something like that? Oh! Let's see what I just avoided. Oh, nothing. Oh. Timer. Well, in that case, uh, this has been the premiere episode of Let's Play... I was, I've done so many episodes of it, I honestly almost just said Let's Play Far Cry 3. Uh, the premiere episode of Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I think it went pretty well. I'll see you next time when we continue our hunt for the Maharaja's treasure vaults. Later!